Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, August 25th. It is Friday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. It's also the optional memorial for St. Joseph Calisans. So St. Joseph was born in Aragon, Spain, uh, 16th century. He was born in a wealthy family, received a great education in theology and law, was ordained a diocesan priest, uh, went to Rome in 1592, to help care for the plague victims alongside who would become St. Camillus de Lellis. And in 1597, he opened his first free public school uh, for homeless and abandoned children. And uh, then men started joining him in this mission to, to educate the children, especially those who are poor. And um, he, they started the, the order, the Piarist order. And uh, he was, he died in 1648, was canonized a saint, and then became the patron saint of Catholic schools. So a lot of our schools have started. We're starting right after Labor Day due to some construction we're doing, but we pray for his intercession today, especially as we educate the youth in, in, uh, in their faith and also in their, their virtue. I'd like to focus on friendship today. It's one of my favorite topics. And this first reading from the book of Ruth is, uh, it's so beautiful as it talks about friendship. So to set the stage here, so we have uh, Elimelech, who is from Bethlehem, uh, Jewish, married Naomi. They had two sons, Malan and Chilion, uh, and they were married to Orpa and Ruth. An interesting note here, if I rem my memory serves me correctly, Oprah Winfrey was named after Orpa and they kind of switched the letters around. So it's actually O-R-P-A-H. And of course, Oprah is O-P-R-A-H. I think I remember her saying one day that uh, she was named after this biblical character, uh, but they switched the letters around. Anyway, uh, back to the story. So Elimelech, uh, Naomi's husband dies. Uh, they had uh, they moved to to the uh, they call it the plain the plateau of Moab. <clears throat> so both of their sons married Moabite women, Orpa and uh, Ruth, and but they were not Jews; they were pagans. So Naomi's husband dies, then her both of her sons die, and so she's left with her two daughters-in-law, and so she says, "I'm going to go back to my home country and to my God." and uh, you should go back to your home country. And so Orpa kisses her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. So Ruth was determined to stay with Naomi. They had, they had formed this bond of friendship. And so this is what Naomi says to Ruth. See now your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God." What a beautiful line. And, uh, and so they do both go back and uh, the story continues of this beautiful friendship of mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, uh, Jewish and um, pagan, uh, but they, they had this bond. And so I think about the gift of friendship. I've been blessed with so many amazing friends in my life. And the best of friends, like I used to be afraid to share my heart because I thought if people really knew who I was, they would run away, you know? And I met a, a couple people who I, I began to trust and thought, I'm gonna share a little bit, I'm gonna open my heart a little bit, be vulnerable, and they didn't run away. In fact, in fact the friendship deepened. And I learned an important lesson to, to have good friends, I need to be a friend, I need to open up my heart I need to share my life. I need to listen to their, their story. And um, it's been the greatest gift in my life. Uh, I mean, there's many great gifts, but the, the gift of a good friend who knows everything about you and loves you anyway is, I think, a glimpse of the incredible love that God has for us. And so, um, so pray for the gift of friends if you don't already have one and pray for the, the ability to be vulnerable. Your best friends will draw you higher. Uh, the, I, I've heard it say that friends are like elevators. If you have good friends, they'll raise you higher. 
If you have bad friends, they'll go the opposite way. They'll, they'll drag you down. So we thank God for our friends today and we pray for, uh, uh, for them and we pray in thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for our friends. We thank you for the example of Naomi and Ruth. And uh, may we be good friends. May we help others uh, to draw closer to you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.